Hello guys, good evening everyone, how's everybody? Again, welcome back to my channel, my Facebook live. And tonight, we will be having a new learning, a new knowledge about geophysical, I'm um, no, geopolitical and geography in Asia more especially in ASEAN or uh, uh, ASEAN or ASEAN. It actually has two pronunciation like ASEAN or ASEAN. And we are actually always hearing like ASEAN Summit or ASEAN Conference or ASEAN Meeting, something to that effect. That's why I am actually uh, wanted to discuss this topic so that as Filipino, as an ASEAN member, the Philippines, we will not become ignorant to this. But before I will start, let me congratulate uh, to my uh, kuya, uh, my first degree cousin, no other than Isabelo Easy Kagalawan. He just won the best photo during the photo contest in Michigan. And hi to Ati Bingbing. If you, uh, you can actually message her and to Kuya Isabelo and Ati Bingbing to congratulate because due to the influx of votes, our likes, uh, he just won for the best, you know, People's Choice Award for that particular uh, photo contest. Anyway, back to topic. Tonight, guys, is another is new learning about our beloved Philippines, our beloved Asia. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Pete. I am your digital influencer, your not typical teacher because I am not using uh, the four corners of the room, but instead I am actually using this internet to discuss the matter. Hi, Ati Bing Bing. Thank you for watching. Congratulations because uh, Kuya Bong just won you know, the champion for that particular photo contest in Michigan. And of course, we are very, very proud to that. Again, congratulations. Hello po. Uh, there's another answer. Uh, there's another uh, viewer there named by Miss Aloha Berong. Yeah, she answered the question like, what is ASEAN or ASEAN? It's actually Association of Southeast Asian Nations. That's correct. But before we will start, let me ask something, okay? Uh, what do you think is the most populated country in Southeast Asia or ASEAN countries? Okay, you can, you can type the, the answer below, okay? Or what do you think is the least populated country in Southeast Asia, okay, and uh, what are the, which countries, the top three of the most populated uh, countries in Southeast Asia, and what is the richest country in ASEAN, and the last but not the least, what, what country has the lowest corporate tax and individual tax then later i'll be answering those questions okay thank you for that answer philippines thailand and cambodia partly correct partly wrong from vilma dunke okay what is asian or asean it actually has two pronunciation like asian or asean but for me i would prefer asean okay so okay guys asean stands for Association of Southeast Asian Nations. And you know why I'm discussing this? Because it, re it, it actually boils down to some people are actually asking me, they ask me some questions like, uh, do we need uh, something like visa to visit Singapore? Do we need visa to go to Cambodia or something like that? That's the reason why I am actually discussing this. Uh, from Vilma Dunke, Association of Southeast Asian Nation, it's correct but wrong. It should be nations, okay? Association of Southeast Asian Nations with S, okay? 
that is Ashan means okay it's actually a political and economic organization armed primarily at promoting economic growth and regional stability among its members because of this ASEAN uh, particular group in our ASEAN uh, Southeast Asian countries we have this strong bond even though we have different uh, nationalities, you have different cultures and traditions, you have different languages. But due to this, we have this power for economic, you know, for growth, for trade, and for other uh, bigger purposes, okay? And guys, there are actually currently 10 member states or countries of Southeast Asian nations i mean the asian okay and primarily before uh yeah correct yeah that's good answer which is, is indonesia yeah but before it was singapore actually okay the founding member of this are actually the philippines and we have this uh <clears throat> five founding members but now it's already 10 countries okay so of course we have indonesia it's Indonesia. Then we have Malaysia, second. Third, we have the Philippines, okay? Then we have Singapore, then Thailand, Brunei, Laos, Myanmar, Cambodia, and Vietnam. So these are the 10 countries, actually members of this ASEAN group, okay? <clears throat> ASEAN guys was actually uh, founded half a century ago. It was in 1967 by the five Southeast Asian nations. Originally, ASEAN has five founding members and these are the following. We have Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, and Thailand. And after a few years, uh, the five countries uh, actually followed them, like, you know, the, the Brunei, the Laos, Myanmar, Cambodia, and others, okay? And then they have the motto, this one vision, one identity, and one community. So, that's it, okay? So, when you have the idea already what ASEAN means or what is ASEAN all about, okay? It's about the economic organiza organization and uh, promoting regional stability, okay, among its members, okay. <clears throat> Did you know that, the, that ASEAN, guys, is actually the only regional economic community of its kind outside Europe and North America? So isn't that amazing, okay? And it aims to promote collaboration and cooperation among its member states or countries, as well as to advance the interest of the region as a whole, including economic and trade growth. Okay, that's it. So again, what's my objective? Why I am discussing this to you? Why I am talking this why I'm talking this all about, right? So, well, the reason why I am talking about this topic because I have some friends way back in the Philippines, okay, from my elementary, high school, and college uh, days, classmates, they were asking like, Pete, we wanted to, like we wanted to go to Singapore to look for, or to find or to land a job. Do we need a visa? Then, if you know this topic, right, ASEAN, then you, you don't have to ask me, right? So that's the reason why I'm telling all about this. Because if you are a Filipino, then you don't need a visa to apply a visa to come to Singapore, okay? You just have this particular passport and you have to buy a ticket, book a ticket. Then you can come to Singapore. You look for a job. You find a job here. Okay, being a Filipino, guys, 
okay, or a Pinoy, you don't need a visa to visit these nine countries that I have uh, just enumerated to you, okay? Just buy or book a plane ticket and your passport. So you come to Singapore without any visa application. What you will have is just a, a visa upon entry. So when you come to the immigration, I mean in Singapore immigration, right, in Changi, then they will just chop it like you can stay here for two weeks or 30 days. It depends on the, to the immigration officer how many days uh, he or she's uh, going to give you, okay? But actually you can, uh, what do you call this, you can extend that one to two months or even three months if the reason is medical, okay? Guys, <clears throat> that's it, okay? And you know what? There are over 628 million people in Southeast Asia. It's actually 10% of the population of the world. Okay? And you know, who is the richest man in Southeast Asia? Any idea, guys? Who is the richest man in Southeast Asia? Well, he is Filipino and no other than Henry C. Okay? Henry C. is the richest man in Southeast Asia or in ASEAN countries. He has a net worth of 20 billion US dollars. And of course, Henry C., he actually is the owner of SM, right? And the owner of SMDC that I'm dealing with. So, we have to support SM and of course Henry C then we have to invest properties you know <clears> there's <throat> a question there then next and did you know that oh I don't have the, the Brunei dollar here you know Singapore and Brunei they can actually use their dollars interchangeably like Singapore dollar you don't need to exchange it to Brunei dollar. You can use Singapore dollar in Brunei. And in Brunei, you c they can use their money or Brunei dollar in Singapore. Why? Because they have an agreement. Okay? That's it. <clears throat> okay? So, I have the following questions, the ASEAN facts. Like, what is the most populated country in ASEAN or ASEAN? Southeast Asia. It's actually Indonesia. It has 261 million plus people in Indonesia. Okay? 261 million people. And what do you think is the least populated or the least populous country in Southeast Asia? It's actually Brunei. They only have less than 500,000 people in Brunei. And did you know that in Brunei, education is free and then the oil or fuel is very cheap and because the government is very rich right then what are the three most populated countries in southeast asia okay these are the following first we have indonesia second we have the philippines then third we have this vietnam indonesia has a population of over 261 million people the Philippines has over 106 million Filipinos, okay? Can't you imagine, like, Filipinos, we have, we're actually 106 million Filipinos. Then third is Vietnam, okay? Vietnamese are actually nine, over 96 million Vietnamese, okay? And what is the richest country in Southeast Asia when it comes to GDP? It's actually Indonesia. But few years back, 2016, 17, 2015, it's actually Singapore. But still, Singapore is a very, very, very rich country. Okay, then what country has the lowest corporate tax and individual tax? Any answer, okay, to my question? What country in Southeast Asia has the lowest corporate tax and individual tax? And the answer is 
Singapore. They have the lowest tax, individual tax. Like my tax, only uh, 2%. Like if I'm earning $100,000, so my tax is just $2,000. It's very small. Like compared to the Philippines, I think 10% or 12 It's very high. Yeah, correct. Singapore. Thank you for that answer. Again, guys, please do share my video now. If you think you are learning, please do share. And then, my fellow Filipinos and college graduate, if you want to come to Singapore to land or to, ha to, to look for a job, then please come. But of course, you have to bring some money, okay? Some cash, your allowance, because it's expensive here. You know the house here, how much is the rent? Like in one room, twenty to 30000 for the whole room. For the whole house, around sixty to 80000 Like my rent here in my place, one room we, I share with uh, with someone with my friend I am paying 15,000 pesos a month okay and then in our apartment we are actually four so 15 30 60,000 for our house here it's a two bedroom flat so it's expensive and the food here is you have to spend like 500 to 1,000 pesos a day so if you want to come to Singapore and apply for a job, you can come, no need for a visa, but you have to prepare some extra cash, like for stay for one month here, you have to bring like 50,000, 30 to 50,000 pesos. So it's just easy. Like way back in 20, 2008, when I, when I first uh, arrived here in Singapore to look for a job, yeah, I, I brought that time around 40,000 pesos. Aside from my airfare, and from the pay, I mean from the house rent. So what I did is I had had forty thousand pesos for uh, my <clears throat> uh, allowance. Yeah, I think that's correct. Philippines is ranked number one for the highest tax. That's tr I think so. Then you know the electricity bill. It's also very very expensive in Singapore. Like if you're paying. Uh, 1,000 pesos a month in the Philippines, in Singapore, like around 500 pesos or less. Cheaper the electricity here. But you know, I love Singapore because we have the fastest internet here. Our internet in Singapore is even faster than USA, than Canada, Tokyo, Japan, or Paris, okay? Singapore is amazing. I've been to 16 countries. But still, Singapore is my best country so far. I've been to the Maldives, India, and any other countries. Still, I prefer Singapore. They have the best transportation system, okay? The MRT. It's very clean, and it, it's amazing. Okay, again, guys, please do subscribe my channel in YouTube. It's Pete TV, and please do share this video for new learnings so that other people can learn something as well, okay? Please do share it now. Again, if you want to invest, if you wanted to become rich, you have to save and invest. But if you wanted to become poor, then spend all your money, okay? Do not invest, do not save. That's for you. For me, I wanted to become rich. I wanted to become a millionaire or a, even a multi-millionaire. So I really invest my money. I really invest uh, I really save and invest, save and invest. Then I have, if I have profit, I have to reinvest and reinvest and reinvest. And time will come. Guys, this is not magic, right? If you wanted to become rich, it's a long process. Like, it would, it, it, it took uh, 30 years or even 40 years for Henry C. to become a billionaire. Okay? So... Being rich is actually a slow, step-by-step, -step, gradual process. It's not like one time you, you will win, like you, you will strike a, a lotto. So that's it. But, you know, the best way to become wealthy is a step-by-step, by-step-by-step. You have to invest, invest, save, invest, reinvest, reinvest. Okay, again, guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel in YouTube, Pete. TV and continue to share for more chances to win for the 10,000 pesos raffle promo during my or on before my birthday. Okay, 
Again, I love SMDC and SMDC makes me rich. And if you want to become rich, you have to sell. Sell something. Even at real estate, sell anything. And then save money. After saving, you have to invest. You have to think and grow rich. Okay. You have to grow and give. Be blessed to bless others. And the secret of living is actually giving. I have to go now. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Please do share. Thanks.